Hey friends, welcome to the Be Learning Club YouTube channel. SEO means Search Engine Optimization. Search Engine Optimization plays a most important role in your Django website or any website. In this tutorial, I will teach you how can you add Django sitemap so that the SEO level will increase for your website. And you can add the link of this XML file inside Google Search Console. Then you can improve your performance on Google search. And in the previous video, I already told you how can you update the detail page means detail view in your Django website. So this is the list view and this is the detail view. So you can update this from here. So only authenticated user can update this. I said you in the previous tutorial. So now go to the application and this is our models and go to the blog. I put this link inside the description box. So just click on the link and read this blog. So when you use Django sitemap, you need get absolute URL method. So you have to define this get absolute URL method inside your model. So here our model is item. And now just define this get absolute URL method. So I just copied it and paste here. So define get absolute URL and return reverse. And this is the namespace. What is the namespace? So detail is the name of the URL of the detail page. So this is the URL stuck UI inside the project folder and this is the name of the URL detail. If you have a URL py inside the app folder, then you have to write here app then detail means detail a namespace is in app folders url so i don't have this i just only have urls.py inside settings inside project and detail is my namespace of detail page item detail is the function of the detail page you can see this item detail is the function of the detail page now go to the models and here you have to import reverse from django.urls so just type from django dot urls import reverse method so now save it and now go to the blog So now go to the settings.py and you have to install django.contrib.sites and django.contrib.sitemaps inside install app. So just copy this. Actually it looks like this. Okay. So just copy this. And go to settings.py. Here is the installed apps. And after auth just paste this django.contrib.sites then django.contrib.sitemaps and now you have to set the site id so just create a variable here and the value is 1 this is your site id now save it and now you have to migrate the model so just type python manage.py and migrate and migrate the model sites and now create sitemaps.py file inside django app folder so here the application is app so inside app folder just create a file sitemaps.py and now edit this so you have to import sitemap from django.contrib.sites and you have to also import your model here the model name is story 
don't confuse with that the model name is story so i just copy it and paste here so story is not my model the model name is itam so i just change it to itam sorry so just go here go to model and just copy your model name itam and now inside sitesmaps.py just paste it so item is my model and i already have have import sitemap from django.contrib.sitemap and now create a class story sitemap so you can change this name story sitemap and now return item.objects.all because item is my model story is not my model remember so now go to the urls.py here just save it and go to the urls.py i have no urls inside application i just have only urls inside project folder so here at first you have to import sitemap from django.contrib.sitemap.py so just import it so inside urls just import it and now also import the sitemap class story sitemap just recently i created this uh, inside sitemaps.py this is our class name story map so i just change it to item sitemap item sitemap because item is my model so now go uh, now save it and go to the urls.py here just import item sitemap okay so from app dot sitemaps import item sitemap here the application name is also app remember this and now you have to define a dictionary for item sitemap so here is the dictionary what is the dictionary the key name is story and the value is story sitemap uh, so this is item sitemap actually in my case so in in my case this is item sitemap not story sitemap so this is item sitemap and i just change it to items okay so the key is items and the value is item sitemap and now just add the path for the sitemap xml so here just add the path so path name is sitemap.xml and use the sitemap function from django.contrib.site.views and now pass the dictionary the sitemaps.sitemaps so sitemaps is this okay so just type sitemaps is sitemaps okay remember this so now save it uh, and now run the server and here just go to sitemap.xml because sitemap.xml is the url of the sitemap so now you can see this and these all are the url of your blog post inside story model not a story model inside item model in my case i have only item model and i just created the sitemap for only item model you can create sitemap for your all models and you should be so this is the sitemap.py and now go go to admin but you can see here this is example.com this is not actually your domain name so you can change this because this is the model site so just go to site model and now just change this name example.com so you i just write here b learning club.com so just change into your domain name and now save and you just go to the home and go to the items i just add one more 
list here. So now save this and now just run the local host and you can see the javascript and this is the detail page of javascript and now go to the sitemap.xml so this is uh, for javascript uh, actually the id of the javascript list is 4 you can see this and this is the url so actually in the local host the URL is 127.0.0.1 and port is 8000. So I just copy it and go to admin and go to site and I just change it to the local host. Okay, so this is my IP. This is actually local host IP and save this. And now just go to sitemap.xml so you can see this. So I just copy this URL and paste here so you can see this so this is the another URL for the blog so just copy it and paste here so you can see the YouTube blog so this is the another URL and paste this okay so whenever you create a blog this xml inside this xml the url will automatically create it and this is the most necessary part for your django website seo you can improve the rank in google search console by adding sitemaps in your django website and for that case you have to use your own uh, uh, domain name like we learning club in my case okay so I just put this link inside the description box just go and check it and inside belearningclub.com you will learn a more things inside the python tutor tutorials inside the django python advanced tutorial a lot of things here so thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe the channel